Adi wants to bring the culture of India to, to, to Broadway. There's not been a South Asian show on Broadway for 20 odd years. You know, last one was Bombay Dreams. Hi all, this is Silas from AsianCultureVulture.com. How are you doing? We're talking to Irvin Iqbal, who stars as Baldev in the new musical production called Come Fall In Love, DDLJ. Yeah, it's a stage musical version of that classic romance Hollywood film, Diwale Delania Lejeange. <laughs> It's now been adapted for the stage as a musical by Aditya Chopra who wrote and directed the original. It's currently playing at the Old Globe Theatre in San Diego, California, the US. Let's go and talk to Irvin over there now. The world has, has been in a very dark place and I think people just need some pure entertainment. I'm playing the um, iconic role of Baldev. You're the dad character, aren't you? The father character, yeah. that's right, yeah. We've got all the ingredients from the original film. Right. Um, and the, the film DDLJ, but it's been renamed Come Fall In Love. We started rehearsals, you know, seven, six, seven weeks ago in San right. Diego. Okay. The idea that it's starting here first because San Diego and the Old Globe Theatre yeah. is kind of like a precursor to Broadway. Quite a diverse kind of multiracial, multinational cast. Yeah, very much so. It's a mixture of um, um, American Broadway performers, Indian yeah. Indian performers. Um, I'm the only Brit in it, oh, right. um, but yeah, it's a, it's it's very much a multinational cast which lends itself well to the story is it very close to the original to the film very much so we've got a lot of the ingredients of the original but we've also kind of updated it and adapted right. it the film starts in london but so yeah. everything has changed now to, to boston <laughs> the film was 1995 and now we're in 2022 so a lot has been Update, and I think you can do that with the stage, you know, yeah. especially put, putting on a on a, on a, in a theatrical space. You can right. update and change things, you know, for the better. How challenging is it to play Baldo? The background with Indian fathers always gets kind of this, <laughs> you know, stereotype in its in its past, especially on on film, you know, and yeah. you know with the, with, with the quivering chins and the raised eyebrows <laughs> and everything. Yeah, yeah. I've tried to maybe bring something different to the table. Right. And nu nuanced it a little bit. Shoba, who plays Simran in the yeah. show, um, she's um, ex she, she's come from Aladdin on Broadway. She played Princess Jasmine on Broadway. Right. Um, she was she was in Wicked. You know, these guys are big. You know, big Broadway hitters that have you know and, and seasoned performers. Yeah. Um, you've got Austin Colby, who's who's playing Rog. You know, he's he, he came from Frozen. Um, so these guys are, and they're all so good. I mean, right. such a high standard of, yeah. um, high standards of, um, of, of, of acting and, and singing and dancing. You know, it's, it's, it's the Broadway standard yeah. that we're among here. Adi wants to bring the culture of India to, to, to Broadway. Right. There's not been a South Asian show on Broadway for 20 odd years. You know, last one was Bombay Dreams. Yeah. So, and he's keen to bring that to, to, to Broadway. So I think, you know, it's, it's a, it's it, it's it's very very important that we sustain these stories and yeah. and and rekindle and reaffirm and uh, yeah. let let everyone know yeah we're still here and we've got stories to tell you know and and I think you know there's been a lot of transition in, on Broadway with you know black musicals and Latino musicals and now I think could be the Bollywood summer of 2023. You think uh, that one to go to Broadway will come to London? I don't see why not. I mean, yeah. I think it has it definitely has the audiences over there, and I think a lot yeah. of people in the UK, especially the South Asian community, are very keen for it to come over. Is there um, there's enough talent in the US basically to do shows like this? And huge, you know, it's like I was saying before, you know, three musical, th three musical. The, the well, I mean, the, the, I, I don't see m many differences. I mean, I, I see a. Um, I, I see a frustration, you know, yeah. these guys that I'm working with have been around for a long, long time, you know, yeah. and they've been, they've been fighting to try and get on stage in other productions and not had any opportunities. You know, I think if you look at, look at the, the makeup of most casts on Broadway, it's very much just, you know, white, black, mm -hmm. um, right. Latino, and yeah. um, they're the majority of the, of the representation. Um, we, we see very little South Asian representation on on Broadway. I think Shoba yeah. Shoba is kind of like the only girl kind of leading it, really. Right. Um, but I mean, this year I did see that the first two leads 
in Aladdin were of South Asian, you know, oh, okay. um, heritage. Yeah. We, we, yeah. We, 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 but that's like 20 years later. That's just oh, in 2022. Yeah. So, but but the people I'm working with, you know, the South Asian cast I'm working with have been have been fighting tooth and nail to to, right. to try and try and get into performances. But there's a massive massive talent base here, you know. And I've only just discovered that in the last two or three months. You know, I I work in the UK, not over here, yeah. and yeah. I've met everybody, and they're yeah. really really good. I mean, yeah. the standard of dancing um, and yeah. singing right. um, and acting is, is 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 absolutely phenomenal. And, and do you think we can kind of recreate that? kind of musical theatre in the UK and we have there is you know the South Asian talent is is here as well to well very much very much so the South Asian talent is very much 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 in the UK you know I I I speak to everybody who you know it, from that community all the time you know we, we've got people in shows in the West End now we've got Rakesh Bowery playing Mr Wormwood in Matilda We've got Hannah Qureshi, who's in um, who's in Dear Ever Dear Evan Hansen. You know, there's a massive, massive South Asian talent base in musical theatre. Some of whom are still not being recognised yeah, and still well, not being being seen. You know, yeah. cast lists are being released every single day for new shows, and I don't see one South Asian actor in them. Well, you know, what, and I, yeah. I, why, why do you think that is? That obviously the talent is they're not being they're not being given any opportunities. You know, right. and and people and people are ignorant ignorant yeah. to the talent. You know, it's it's very one dimensional talent. We see the same faces and the same names over and over again. There's no new opportunities being given to, mm. to, to you know, to this talent base, and and they're there, and they're and they're ready, and they're and they're willing. You know, I know over fifty and sixty people, you know, from wow. from our industry that yeah. are of, of worthy of worthy standards, you know, yeah, and right. and and they're not being seen, and and it, 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 I find it I'm, I'm it astonishes me all the time. But then, do you think it needs a show like DDLJ to come to London to rekindle that idea that? There's a lot of South Asian talent in the musical theatre, not just. Well, I think it's, the thing that frustrates me is that I, you know, we can have South Asian stories, specific South Asian mm -hmm. stories, but you know, it, it shouldn't be a reminder to producers that yeah. the talent exists because of. You know, we shouldn't be be doing it for the for the sake of it because yeah. the talent already existed there. You know, shows like Bombay Dreams, Far Pavilions, Bend It Like Beckham, Britain's Got Bangra, all these shows that have been running through through um through london for the last 20 years yeah. they were already there the talent yeah. was already there yeah, you know yeah. so if the talent was already there why are they not you know why is people not being utilized and and, and seen if the talent was al already there you know we can remind people you know and it's great the south asian stories can be brought in but yeah. we shouldn't have to remind them that the talent is there when they've already been p performing in previous shows <laughs> my first big break was bombay dreams back right. in 2002 you right. know i was i was lucky enough to have graduated from the Royal Academy of Music and Bombay came, you yeah, know. Right. Also, I think I was I was very very lucky. Some people are not lucky to have those yeah, those transitions. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I was that was my first first big break. And did you always want to mix the kind of musical theatre and traditional drama? Was that was that always in in the plan, or if you? Had I'd to... I, I'd never planned to go into musical theatre. It was my head of drama who encouraged oh, me nice. to go and train on my singing uh, oh, from right. my university university days. And I actually, when I graduated, I did a lot of straight theatre and oh, a lot of television yeah. when I first graduated. I, I didn't do many musicals. Okay. Um, but I think it somehow draws me back in, and I consider myself to be an actor with a half a decent voice you know in our profession we've got to do three disciplines we have to act we have to sing we have to dance you know yeah. and and i don't think people get enough respect for that you know of of honing your discipline and um and, and looking after your instrument and everything yeah. i've 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 been very critical in the past that a lot of you know the british south asian media kind of seem to focus too much on film and focus on bollywood and everything and yeah. i think that our our industry that get you know you know have been ignored yeah. a little bit considering the work we have to do well thank you so much right. for your time and uh, all the best and keep in take touch care. and all right. uh, we'll see you again soon I thank hope. you Shelley. take all care right. take care thank you